Hey Starling, I made a video similar to this on TikTok, but it was a condensed version of what I would like to discuss on how we made my home wheelchair accessible and the little things to the large ramp that was built from the ground up. So I wanted to show that today and why I have these things and why I may not have other things that other wheelchair users that I see have in their homes and why I don't have them. So let's get on with this. There is a fly and it's not leaving my stuff alone. One big thing to notice is my house is very open concept. There used to be a wall over there by my TV. It divided the dining room from the living room. We took all that out just so everything had good flow and all of my furniture is up against some form of wall. The couch, if you had been here for many years, like five, six years ago, it used to be, it wasn't this couch, it was a different couch, it wasn't a sectional everything was flipped and my TV was against the wall and the couch was just kind of in the middle of the room. That made moving around difficult. I was in a larger chair, it was wider, so that was a headache and a half. The table used to be right here in the middle of my, I call this now my little sunroom, my little bay window area. Now I have my bench over here with storage and I have little bookshelves, but everything is off on the sides to give me space. It just makes everything easier for me. Everything is open concept. Everything is easy for me just to roll around and get where I need to. What's nice about this area is it is a totally brick patio. It's all overhead and it's connected to my garage. So where I live, it rains quite often and we do get snow in the winter. So it's great that I don't ever have to go through snow or rain, everything is covered. And it's also great for my dog because some of the actual backyard, some of the fencing is just not good. It's fallen apart, it's rotted at this point. So it's great to have her here so I know that she's safe and I know exactly where she is at all times, which I like. Of course, I let her out there when she is good and I am able to watch her and she really enjoys it. But I love having everything just essentially sealed off for me and then I can just go up and down my ramp. My ramp, it's very, very long. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go inside. It's hot out. Welcome to my kitchen. Don't mind the mess. This is a cutout and it is perfectly for my height. So I prep all my food here and then it leaves a lot of room for my roommate so she can have the space to prep her food. And she's like five foot nine. So. She doesn't use this space at all. I do. And then, I don't want to talk about it. Don't look at that. Don't look at it. And then underneath, of course, my dog has her little bed. So she lays here while I cook and prep all my stuff because she thinks she will get a little snack. So that's my kitchen. You are quite low to the ground because I was showing off that the sink is also cut out underneath. And the sink is lower than an average sink, as you can see, oh, as you can see, used to be up here, and now it's down here. And I can reach everything, which is, I've always been fortunate, you know, knock on, knock on wood, sorry, Luna, that my disability and the range I have, despite my disability, has not required me to have a lot of accommodations. I know a lot of people who are disabled physically and require a wheelchair, whether that's a manual or a power chair, they may require far more than what I'm even showcasing but I am very, very grateful for that. I am very grateful that I no longer require a lot of the things that I actually did when I was younger. Even for some transfers, it was usually after surgeries, I had to have a transfer board. Um, now I'm just moving all over the place. So that's fun. And I'm just, I'm very lucky in that regard. So really there just isn't a lot for me to show, honestly. And a lot of it was just, a lot of my accommodations were made just because of the house's age and the time period it was built like this this is a great thing to point out so if we just lower you a little bit more you would see that there is a little bridge a little moat bridge if you will because the stairs leading to the basement and then to a side exit door is very very low so we had to come up with a way to make me a little bridge so i can go outside welcome to my bathroom <laughs> it's i think this is actually the best way to showcase it. So my bathroom is, I think you could call it similar to 
how some bathrooms are in Brazil, where everything's open concept, all of it is tile, so nothing essentially molds from the water. So it's really easy then because I have total range to go wherever I want in here. The bathroom sink, it's all cut out. I can roll right up under it, except I can't anymore because this chair sits much higher. <laughs> so I have to actually push my one leg off of the foot plate to get under the sink now because I sit too tall and I didn't realize that that was gonna be an issue. I have a handheld only shower head and then I have my shower chair, obviously, all my stuff, all my stuff. And then it makes it real easy to transfer to the toilet because I can just back right in between these two, which is really, really nice. And the water situation, I don't need really a shower curtain because everything just drains and nothing really gets wet outside of that. I'm usually pretty careful about that. So it makes cleaning then really easy for me, especially when I want to mop the floors. I can just take this and obviously move all my stuff, but you know, you know what I mean. There really isn't much else. A lot of my store, I have really long arms as you can see. So for getting storage and things like that, it's really helpful that I have long arms, but I also have an arm grabber if I need to get something on a really, really high shelf. But a lot of the shelves I don't use that are really high. My, my roommate would use them because again, she's much taller than me. So I get access to a lot of the lower level things. And it's just, it. I'm very, very fortunate that I don't require a lot of extra things, I guess. <laughs> but if you have any questions about how I do this, how I do that, that is family friendly slash safe for work, I don't answer inappropriate questions. Let me just get that. Anytime I say, if you have any questions, that's you, unfortunately, that is a very, very popular thing to be asked. And it's a lot to handle sometimes because I can handle it most times. It's just, it can get to be a bit too much. But if you have any questions that are in the realm of safer work possibility, please don't hesitate to ask. I do love answering questions. And if I don't have answers, I do like trying to figure out how I can come up with an answer that is realistic to me as a person and my needs and how I get around all that. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a long time coming. I am going through a lot of different life-changing things right now and so i thought what better time to do it than now while i have everything here that i that i need so thank you so much for watching all of my social media links are in the description box below i do get a lot of people telling me that if they try to look me up on instagram in particular without clicking the link in my bio um they can't find me due to different restrictions so i would highly recommend just clicking that link it'll take you right to me with no hassle whatsoever i also have my books down in the description box below thank you so much to everyone who has bought and supported them including all of their grammatical errors i apologize sincerely i i am trying to better such things and thank you so much <laughs> but please give this video a like a uh, comment down below if you have any questions comments concerns i believe youtube changed their algorithm so the more comments and interactions the better it works out for my channel so thank you so much and also subscribe while you're at it thank you and with all that being said i will see you all later